So the impact is dramatic. If you look at the metrics around what it took to actually create ChatGPT as an example, it's, it's mind boggling. It's staggering the carbon footprint of ChatGPT alone. The obvious answer is more renewables, microgrids, behind the meter implementations with probably a myriad of energy sources, um, you know, wind, solar, and battery storage. However, wind and solar are intermittent. If the wind's not blowing and it's a cloudy day, you have a real problem. What a lot of people don't know about Bloom though, is we also have the ability to integrate with very large energy storage devices. The other huge advantage is utilities can take three to 10 years to show up on site. Um, Bloom can be on site 90 to 180 days. What that really means to the AI data center is whoever is in there, and maybe it's multiple tenants that are in that data center, they can come to market years ahead of waiting for utility. That, that means you're much closer to revenue than, than waiting for the utility. So essentially it's time to power with a lower carbon footprint.